Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will cover the auto PDF options. So what we have here is just a form that creates a contact and let's say we want to take a snapshot out of this screen and create that into a PDF. Let's head over to our auto PDF, hit configure, enable auto PDF mapping, you can do auto fit that it will squeeze it into an A4. Um, you can head over to email settings. This applies to all the PDF options, to the dynamic one and the basic PDF. Um, we can do a send to additional. Um, that means if we have, if we set up the emails, send to additional, then it will send the attachment to that email as well. So we'll save this and we'll see how it does. Let's save the form. And now let's set up our push. Let's head over to Salesforce integration. So we're creating a contact from uh, from our form. Let's add a child. Let's create an attachment from this. Let's map the fields. So the mapping, let's see what's mandatory. So we're already mapping the attachment parent ID to our account, to our contact. And we're just going to set a file name. Just going to do a custom thing here. We'll call this auto PDF. Uh, let's see, do auto.pdf and we'll set the body to our auto PDF. We'll apply and finish, save the form. Let's publish it, see how it does. Let's create a test and put in a phone number. And let's sign the form and submit. Let's wait for the form to submit. And we're going to head over to our integration logs. Refresh our integration. Let's just reset here. And we have it right here. Let's take a look. A contact was created. And under the contact, let's take a look at our contact. And under the contact, we have our PDF. Let's take a look at our PDF. And there you have it. Just one thing to note that automatically Form Titan takes off the validation rules and the buttons. So, like you see here, it doesn't show the submit button because Form Titan handles it automatically for you. And let's say hypothetically you have a page break with a few pages. So let's take a quick look at that. Let's add a page break and I'm just going to duplicate this information. Let's head over to our next page break. Add a page and we will add this over here. Take off the submit and let's save our form. and publish it. Let's fill this information. Let's fix this. The submit needs to be in the next in the next screen. So let's just real fix it real quick. We'll put the submit over here. We'll take this signature off. This is just duplicated information just for the sake of the the demo. It's not something that you would do, but just in order for me to show you how it handles the PDF. So let's add this information here. We'll do first page. We'll leave the phone blank. We'll go to the next one. We'll do 770. And this will do second page. And And let's sign the form and we'll submit. Basically what will happen now, the PDF will be generated with two pages. Let's take a look at our integration logs. We'll refresh. Didn't come in yet. Almost done. 
refresh our integration logs. It's just a little heavy when you use a auto PDF. So let's refresh it now. And there we have it. Let's take a look at our contact again. And the, the auto PDF. So the auto PDF has two screens. First one and the second one from the page break. So Form Titan does that automatically. And let's take a look at our emails. So we set up the form to be sent to an email. So if I'll click the second one, that we have it. Two pages from the page break. And this is how you do it.